So what I learned to do was I learned to really look at what they were doing on a daily basis, right? Because in my mind, I was like, okay, like if I can just run the same race every single day and kind of align my schedule and what I'm doing with what they do, make sure I'm matching the same effort and work ethic, then over the course of five years, seven years, 10 years, you know, I would get to where I wanted to be. Maybe to a year and a half, two years ago, I don't know, like I was always so focused on, you know, the numbers, right? Like, you know, I saw, you know, kind of what Josh was doing, you know, what Dan and Tori were doing, because, you know, I was, I was doing a little bit for them in the back end of, of their program too. Um, and I feel like a lot of times we're so obsessed with numbers, right? We're so obsessed with the end result. And one thing that I kind of realized was if I kept being focused on the end result, that I was just going to burn myself out, right? Because there was no way, like if that's what was on my mind every single day, all day, like, you know, these guys and, and girls have been doing it for, you know, five years longer than me, 10 years longer than me, right? There's just no way that I would be able to live up to that in 30, 60, 90 days. Like I would just burn out. So what I learned to do was I learned to really look at what they were doing on a daily basis, right? Because in my mind, I was like, okay, like if I can just run the same race every single day and kind of align my schedule and what I'm doing with what they do, make sure I'm matching the same effort and work ethic, then over the course of five years, seven years, 10 years, you know, I would get to where I wanted to be. Um, and I think that's really important. And, and I originally realized that because I started actually looking at my day. Um, Tori actually, it was funny enough, had me go through, um, my daily schedule for a week. And I highly recommend you guys do this. I still do this from time to time. If I feel myself, you know, kind of slipping a little bit or whatever, there's actually time management sheets that you could print off. You could get PDFs, fill them out online, whatever. Um, and actually break your days down into 15 minute blocks. Um, and you'll really, really see what your days look like because there's a lot of time in there. We tell ourselves we're so busy. We don't have time for anything, right? Our, our, our days are packed. And then you break it down into 15 minute increments and you're like, holy crap, like I spent an hour sitting on the couch doing nothing, looking at my phone, you know, or whatever stuff that just doesn't matter. Um, and when I started to do that, when I really started to look at how my days went um, and just really focused on running the same race that the people were running that I wanted, you know, kind of what they had, uh, that's when everything started to change, um, became less concerned about the end result because the end result is just a byproduct at the end of the day. Um, as long as you're doing stuff, the right stuff every single day, you're going to get what, you know, what you're after.